Hey guys, I'm Leo, and today we're going to learn how to automate uh, your tasks, your daily tasks from Notion to Slack as notifications to notify your team or yourself about the daily tasks that you have. So in here we are in the home page of Zapier, okay? So but first of all, we are going to take a look on Notion and on Slack. Okay, so I just created here a calendar on, on Notion uh, in my account, a blank calendar. You don't have any tasks in here, just to create tasks after implement the automation to see if the automation is working properly, okay? And of course, I created here a channel, uh, a new group on Slack uh, to see if the notifications will actually pop up. It's just me in the, in the channel and I created here a channel called meeting, okay? And then we are going to actually send uh, our daily tasks, okay? From, for example, we have a task for today, then we are going to receive a notification uh, in the time that we want, remind us uh, about the task. So let's start the automation. We are going to connect the, the account from Notion and the account from uh, Slack on our automation, but let's create first uh, in here on the top left corner of Zapier, let's create a Zapier, an automated workflow, right? Once we are here, we can actually set a trigger and an, an action, right? The trigger is what is going to activate our Zap, uh, and then the action is what we are going to do with this activation. In this case, it's, it's to send the message to Slack, okay? In here, if we click in trigger, uh, in here we have a lot of different apps to, to use and built-in tools uh, that we can use as well from Zapier. If we take a look here on Notion, we have Notion in here, uh, but if we start to set things up, we just have two events to count with new database item and updated database item. So in here, we are just going to be notified when we have a new item on our database. So we create a task, for example, or when we update a task. Okay. And that's not what we want, right? We want to choose Zapier to ch check if we have any tasks on that day and then not notify us what are those tasks. And we're going to manipulate this data uh, in order to receive uh, the, this notification with just the tasks that we have on that day. So we're going to use new database item. Okay, in here we have to connect our account. In here I'm going to change the account. I'm not going to use this one anymore. Okay, and then you are going to connect your Notion account in here, right? Select pages, then you can select all of your pages or just a couple of pages or just the, the, the page that you want, the calendar that you want, allow access. Now we are connected to our Notion uh, database, right? This calendar, for example, we don't have anything here, but we are connected. Now we are going to set the trigger, okay? The trigger is actually uh, the database and what we are going to look for. Okay, so I just have one calendar here, which is the Notion to Slack automation that I just created for this video. Let's select this, this database and now we can continue, okay? Now it's going to test your, your link, right, the trigger, and then it's going to create uh, a scenario for you, okay, with, with all the, the variables that, that we receive. Okay, let's take a look on something curious, okay? If I create a new uh, task in here, for example, test, okay, for the date, today, for example, let's set a start date for today and let's create a tag, for example, automation. Okay. If you take a look in here and run again to find new records on, on testing this trigger, we're going to see that it's going to find our new item. Okay. Just found a new item here and the title of the item is test. It's just the item that we just created in here. If we take a look, we have the object page, uh, a lot of different info in here. Uh, and if you take a look in here, we have something really cool. So we have in here date, start, and the day that we are right now, okay? But what is, what is the main difference that we can look in here? The date, the start date is not the same as the, the created uh, date or time, okay? So the created date is when you created the task. The start date is when the task is going to start. That's where we have the catch to use the start date uh, as filter to not notify us about that task. Okay, so we are going to create a task. When we create this task, we are going to start this, this automation, but we are just going to send a notification to Slack when we reach this start date right here, okay? Now we just have to manipulate this info uh, and to reach the, the, the action to send the message to Slack. Another curious thing we can see in here is that actually right now in my time zone, we are at 12 hours, right? And in here in the created time, it's, uh, it's telling us that the, this task, the task that we created in here to test, uh, was created three hours uh, ahead of my time zone. And the time zone from my Zapier is actually set. Okay, this is like the right time zone for my area. You, are going, you guys are going to set your own time zone, but even though I have the right time zone in here, sometimes Zapier can understand things a little bit different. Uh, always create the tasks in here, observe how Zapier is going to deal with this information, with the, those variables, right? And this is going to be very important for us to determine 
what hour we want our notification to pop on Slack. Uh, but for now, our new database item on Notion is set. Okay, so every time that we create a new uh, item in here, we are going to receive, we are going to notice this item on this trigger. So we're going to trigger our Zap. Now we have to put an action. I could put Slack in here uh, right next, right, and send the the, the notification uh, to to Slack. Okay, right away. By default, we are going to receive this notification at midnight. Okay, so once we flip the day, we are going to receive the notification on midnight, and we don't want to receive on midnight. We want to receive 12 hours, 12 a.m., 1 p.m., 2 p.m., for example. That's why we are going to use something, a building tool here from uh, Zapier, which is formatted for matter, actually, by Zapier. In here, we are going to format our uh, data, okay, which data? Uh, the date that our uh, task starts, right? The properties date start, okay? which is the date uh, our task is actually happening, right? It can be uh, uh, end date as well. It's up to you guys. So we are going to format what? Date and time, okay? The action, we are going to transform something. What we want to do with uh, our date time since our date time is set by default at midnight, right? If I create in here a action to send this message to Slack, by default, it's going to send a message at midnight. We don't want that, okay? So you want to add a uh, time into this start date. Uh, to set the time for uh, 12 a.m. or 1 p.m., for example. So we're going to add and subtract time. We're going to use the input, okay? Here in the input, we want to take actually the, the start date from the task that we took from Notion, okay? We have to take the, the start date since our start, start date by default is going to send the notification on midnight. We want to increase, add some hours to the start date, okay? Let's go down here. Uh, properties date start. Right, that is the property that we want to use. And let's add the amount of time that we want. I want to receive, for example, uh, 12 a.m. For example, I would add here 12 hours, okay? And this is like a pretty easy syntax to use. You can actually read here more. You can use plus eight hours and one minute. You can actually do minus two days, for example, a month's days and, and there it goes, okay? So for example, plus 12 hours. I'm not going to use plus 12 hours because since we created this uh, task today, if I use 12 hours in here, the automation will consider that I'm going to try to notificate something that should have been notificated in the past. It's not, it's not going to work. Since I'm, I'm at 1 p.m. in here, I'm going to set for 2 p.m. So you guys can see actually the, the notification popping up on my Slack right after. So to reach in here at 2 p.m. for me, since it's a difference of 3 hours, I would add in here 14 hours, okay? And since Zapier is reading our time right now 3 hours ahead, I'm going to add 3 hours in here as well, okay? So let's put 17 hours, okay? Just to recap, you guys need to understand that Zapier is recognizing that we are 3 hours ahead than I actually am for example, that's why you guys need to test this to see if uh, even though you are in the right time zone on Zapier, sometimes it can conclude that you are not, okay, or understand another uh, time zone for you. That's why you need to add those uh, additional hours, okay? Since I want to receive at 2 p.m., which for me in here would, would be plus 14 hours, uh, I'm going to add 3 hours more to compensate this difference that Zapier is considering as well. And now in here you can format the way that you are going to receive uh, this date and time. I recommend you guys to use this format in here, the date, okay, the year, month, and day, uh, and then the time, hour, minutes, and seconds. You need to have uh, this information of hours in your data, okay? Don't choose any of those that don't have the hour, okay? And as you can see, we are displaying uh, the date and then the time uh, right after, okay? And uh, now we can add the, the final step that we have in this automation, which is sending this uh, data to Slack and then finally notificating uh, our users about those tasks. Choose Slack in here. Let's choose an event. We want to send a message okay, to a channel. I'm not going to send a direct message. I'm going to send the message into a channel, okay? Let's connect our account in here. I have my account in here, automation test. You can connect your account the same way that we connected our Notion account. Let's continue. And now the action. Here is the same thing as Notion as well. Instead of choosing a database, we are going to choose a channel. Okay, in this case, I'm, I want to send in this channel, right, meeting. Here you can set a personalized text. You can set anything you want. But the cool thing is that you can use the variables that you had on those previous steps, okay? Since I want to notificate my team, for example, about this, the, the daily tasks, I want to take the title of the task, the type of the text, the group of the text, for example. So if we open here, we have the settings, right? Notion uh, give to us. Of course, we don't have a cover and an icon, for example, in here, but you can add and it's going to appear in here. So first of all, let me give, let me write something for my team, for example, daily tasks, daily tasks, okay? And then let's set task, for example, 
and put the, the, the title of the task. In this case, the example, it's using this test, which is the, the task we created in there. Okay, let's skip for this now. You can actually add uh, more variables in there. You can type different stuff, use images. Uh, you can send this as a bot, yes. Bot name is Zapier by default. Bot icon is going to be the, the Zapier logo by default as well. Include a link to the Zap, not necessary. Depends on your needs. Okay, attach image. Uh, these things you can, like, uh, I'm not going to use. You guys can read and see if fits for you guys. The, the really catch of all of this automation is in here, schedule at. If we finish right now this task, the automation would work, okay, but it would just send the message, the notification to us when new tasks were created, okay, not when tasks uh, are supposed to be done at that date. We have to schedule using what date? The date that we, that we just formatted here in the, this second step. The date, uh, the start date of our task and the hour uh, that we added on the, the previous date. Okay, now you have the schedule. Keep in mind that you cannot schedule uh, tasks that are uh, that have more than 120 days ahead. Okay, and once you, you schedule something, you cannot use some things as a bot name, bot icon, for example, that are those things in here. Okay, but by default, it's going to be Zapier and the, the logo from Zapier. Okay, now that you schedule, you can continue and test our last step. As you guys can see, we have a data in, okay, which is uh, the tasks, for example, that we are going to receive, and then the data out. Uh, as you can see, Slack actually format all of this different date into this different code in here, but it's fine. And then you have the tasks, for example, and the information from the tasks that you create. So uh, that is the, the final part from our automations. By doing this, we can actually like create a task right now. Let's use test two, for example. Let's set the date for, I don't know, five, day, five days later from now. Let me set for automation as well. Since I created this uh, task in here, it's not going to notify me right now. This task just got into our automation, but it's not going to reach this last uh, piece of the automation uh, until it reaches the start date, which is uh, 18 of June. Let's continue. Now I'm going to create, I'm going to publish in here my, my zap in order to work. Now that it's published, we can actually try. I will create here a task for today, okay? And then we are going to see, uh, let's call task one for today, okay? Uh, and then we are going to see if it notifies us or not once we reach 2 p.m. in here. Task created, let's wait, and then I'm going to show you guys that actually the notification will appear here in our channel meeting. As you guys can see, we received the, the two notifications, right? Uh, not just the, the task one that we did, but the test as well. We received in here on Slack on the right time, exactly 2 p.m. just like I sat in there. And that's it for this automation, pretty simple but it's something a little bit difficult to imagine. I hope you guys like the content. Uh, drop a like below, comment if you have any questions, and I hope to see you guys in our next automation. Bye-bye. Get our ebook now on the top 10 time-saving automations for a small business in the description below.